don't know if y'all mamas, y'all grandmamas, y'all sisters, somebody done told y'all, but a female know if she gonna sleep with you within that first conversation that y'all have, okay? That's whether she give you some the next day, a year later, five years down the line, ten years down the line, however long. She knew within that first conversation if she was going to sleep with you. A lot of y'all dudes mess it up because it's like that first conversation, either it's going to put you in the friend zone or it's going to put you in the lame zone or you're going to be in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you going to get in there. But within those first 15 minutes with me personally, I could tell, like, I'm vibing with them, but we could be cool, you know what I'm saying? Because this ain't really the type of person I want. That's why I tell dudes, like, why do y'all talk yourself out of the cooler water? It's the first first conversation. It's the first conversation. If you could lock us in on that first conversation, boy, listen. All right, y'all, man. Before we get into this video, man, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Tavon Williamson. And we gonna get into this video, man. She is speaking straight facts and... I want y'all to know this, man. When a woman looks at you, she knows if she wants to fuck or not. And every little thing that you do can disqualify you from getting into them sweet, watery guts. So if you are doing something, you know, you're being too goofy or, you know, you just do something to disgust her, bro. She don't want to mess with you no more. And she said, she brought up a perfect point, man. Y'all... Y'all disqualify yourself by the things that y'all say. Law 4 of the 48 Laws of Power, in that law states, always say less than necessary. So if you're saying less than necessary, you're not talking too much. I know y'all all, all and had a conversation with somebody who is just talking y'all ass off and you don't really want to talk to them and you don't really care what they have to say. This is what I want y'all to understand about this. And this is why I'm trying to compare these two situations. If you are talking too much, your words do not mean anything. The less you talk, the more value, value your words have. So if you with a female and you talking her ass off and it's all about you, you making everything about you, you're not asking her no questions. That is turning her off. If you learn how to control your words and you talk slowly and you ask these questions, number one, it's going to show that you're on a higher level than her. That might sound wrong. That might sound, it might come off a certain way, but females only want to mess with you when you're on a higher level than them. Now you might think, you know, you screaming your achievements, you screaming everything that you have is, you know, you saying that you're on a higher level than her. But all that does is screams insecurity. If you are on a date or if you're with somebody, it doesn't matter who, it can be male or female, and you're telling them, okay, I have Lamborghinis, I have a nice house, I have all this money. It seems that you're trying to compensate for something. It's another area that you're lacking in and you're trying to hide that area. So to hide that area, you say all these things, all these different things that you have. So that is not the way to do it anybody you know first meeting a female you shouldn't be trying to do that anyway so when you hold your words it shows that you have some type of importance that you're not really trying to prove yourself to this female so when you do that when you show that you're on a higher level than her she's going to try to figure out like why are you acting this way why are you acting so calmly why are you acting you know not like a clingy dude most of the dudes who she's messed with because I'm telling you this anybody who you this is how I look at it anybody who you're talking to and they're talking fast they they're not really making eye contact with you they're all over the place I see that person as nervous when I see somebody talking fast and I also it comes off like you don't know how to talk to people that's two things it comes off as you being nervous and you not having social skills so with that being said if you imply that to a female She's like, bro, why is this dude so nervous? Why, who is this cornball? Who is this cornball in my face talking about his whole entire life, screaming everything that he's done? So you need to be mysterious. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how nice your car is. You need to let her find that out. But then it comes off better when you let her find those things out, rather than just tell her because What's going to go through her mind once she sees that nice car, once she sees how much money you have? She's going to be like, why didn't he tell me about these things? 
And it's because you didn't have to. So always remember this, and you can use this law more with more than just females. Like I said, it works better with females, but I definitely agree with her. Y'all mess up y'all opportunities by talking too much. When you're with a female, learn how to control your words, and everything should flow like water. Majority of the time, if she didn't flake on you, if she's texting you back, I don't know the reason, but it's most likely it's a good reason. Most likely, if you got, I'll say this, most likely if you got a woman in person and she's feeling you, you're the only person who can mess that up. So you can mess that up by saying foolish things. Just so y'all know, bro, that I'm stating facts, bro. I'm going to read it off to y'all. I'm going to read off examples from the 48 Laws of Power, Law 4, on why you need to talk with importance. You need to value what comes out of your mouth. So we, I'm going to read this off to y'all. Okay, on this, it says... Besides creating an impression of great import, saying little avoids the risk of saying something foolish, which can be costly. For instance, in the early 1800s, a Russian rebel named, I don't know how to say that, Rolevi, talked too much and paid for it with his life. Nicholas had sent, sentenced him to death, but at the moment he was being hanged, the rope was broke. Believing he'd be pardoned, as usually happened in such cases, he yelled to the crowd that Russia couldn't get anything right, even wrote, instead of pardoning him, Nicholas responded, let's prove the contrary, and Relevi was hanged the next day with a rope that held. Relevi hadn't learned to always say less than necessary. So when y'all, I want y'all to understand this, when you're talking to a female and you're talking too much, you risk saying something that is going to come off foolish or to make you foolish. Now, on the flip side of that, when you learn how to control your words and you calm down, you take it, bro, you gotta take a deep breath. And you say, always say less than necessary, like the law states, bro, you're going to find that it's going to be a silence. And this works with anybody, but it works more with females. When there's a silence, they're automatically going to try and feel that silence. So what does that do? Why would that be important? When you're talking, and you're asking her questions, trying to get to know her, she is going to tell on herself. So instead of asking her questions, like asking her direct questions, you can get more information out of her just by being quiet. You'd be surprised. And I've heard this before. And after I heard it, I tried it and it actually works. Well, you just shut up, just shut up and listen and keep asking her questions, bro. She is going to tell you everything you need to know. She'll say, oh, I went to Hawaii. Oh, how was Hawaii? Okay. You know, who all did you go with? Oh, I went with a couple of dudes. I went with my friends. Oh, okay. What, what all did y'all do down there? And watch how she just keeps telling her on herself, keeps telling her. And eventually, she's going to say something that she didn't want to say, something that she was hiding, something that she didn't want you to know. That goes back to saying, you know, something foolish. So instead of you saying something foolish, you have to let her say something foolish and see if this woman is actually the right fit for you. Instead of, man, it's 2023, bro. We have to start flipping the roads. Instead of, you know, walking into relationships or trying to date somebody, trying to prove yourself to somebody, you need to let this woman prove herself to you. So with that being said, instead of trying to prove everything, like the one dude, the, uh, the scientist, I know y'all watched the pineapple show and seen that scientist get pineapple. He got pineapple because he, it was all about him and he didn't really, you know, understand the situation. So if y'all don't want to be like that dude and y'all seen the faces they had, if y'all don't want to be like that dude, then know what to say and control your words. Man, before I end this video, man, I just want y'all to know with all these things that I tell y'all, they always take practice. You cannot be good at something if you do not try and apply these things to your life. And I had to figure that out. You can watch as many videos as you want, but if you don't actually go out and apply these things, it will never work. So you have to keep getting better and keep getting better and just keep bumping your head, bro. You're gonna have L's. You're gonna, I done took some L's. I done dropped the bag. So you have to, I know y'all see them dudes who talk so smoothly, you know, and it takes time to get there. Some people are born natural with it. It automatically comes with them, but some people need to work on that. 
So if you want to work on that, you have to go out here in the field. You cannot stand in the bleachers. You actually have to go out here in the field. So I'm challenging y'all to do that today, man. So this is the end of this video, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Leave a thumbs up for that algorithm. And we up.